Dinesh D'Souza went on Glenn Beck's show on the Blaze TV, which has a grand total of 43 viewers, and he's going to plug his suck-ass movie, which has a total of 42 viewers. He's trying to get that 43rd real hard. And he's going to do a psychological analysis of the left here and come to all the wrong conclusions. So let's hear him out, and then we'll come back, and I'll tell you what actually drives liberals. Uh, in my view, the primary emotion that drives the left is the emotion of envy. Envy. I mean, think of the guy who's, who's um, you know, adding up numbers for a living or, or who is uh, sweeping off his floors. And he leaves his office here in Dallas. He's walking home. He looks into a restaurant. Through the glass, he can see people ordering $40 entrees, laughing, drinking wine, limousines pulling up, pretty girls walking in and out. He goes, what the heck? Why, why that guy? Why not me? I, he works hard, but I work hard too. And at, at that moment, you begin to feel an emotion. And that emotion is envy. Now, envy is not the belief that I want to do better. I should go back to school. I should start a business. Envy is the feeling... I would like to come up, but if I can't come up, I would like to pull that guy down. It's that destructive urge in human nature. It's a very secretive, vicious human emotion, and it's one that is often undiagnosed because we don't admit it even to ourselves. So here's the envious guy seething with envy, seething with resentment, and who should come to him at this point but Obama? And Obama, himself suffused with envy, uh, will say to this guy, listen, let me tell you something. You're not envious. You are righteously indignant. You know why? Because look at those guys in that restaurant. They've been stealing from you. Society creates wealth and then greedy entrepreneurs come in and grab it. So here's what you do. You vote for me. I will take the cops and go get their stuff. And then I will give some of it to you. So you have here a dirty bargain by people who are appealing to the lowest impulses in human nature, and it's camouflaged under the banner of social justice. So, he says, well, it's envy. Envy is what drives you guys. And he gives the example of if, it, if somebody who sweeps floors for a, a living it passes by a restaurant and they see, you know, some rich people eating or whatever, uh, essentially they can't control themselves, and they say, ah, fuck these guys, we gotta have what they have. Now, uh... Why is that absolutely ridiculous? Because it's not envy that drives us. It's rationality. So, for example, in most cases, the person he just named us, somebody who sweeps floors or cleans stuff up or whatever, usually they make minimum wage. Sometimes, in the case of home care workers for elderly people, there's actually a loophole in the minimum wage, and they make less than minimum wage. Isn't that crazy? Somebody who wipes old people's asses for a living, and there's a loophole, and they make less than minimum wage. So what liberals do is they look at that situation, and they go, Oh, I see. That person works a full-time job, and they don't make enough money to survive. They can't pay the rent or pay the mortgage, uh, cover the light bill and the heating, and just their basic bills, and feed the kids. They can't do it! So then what do they have to do? They're forced to go uh, on food stamps or to take some sort of social safety net program money from the government. And then when they do that, what happens? All the conservatives like Dinesh D'Souza turn around and go, oh, what a moocher. Totally disregarding the fact that this is a person who works a full-time job, but they still don't make enough money to survive. See, we have a working poor class in the United States of America. Over 10 million people work full-time. They don't make enough money to survive. So Dinesh D'Souza... It, he he just sweeps that it sweeps that aside totally puts it under the rug he says no 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 pay no attention to that you're just envious no what liberals are again speaking myself what i what i do when it comes to figuring out what's right and wrong and what's moral and immoral and what makes sense and doesn't especially politically i try to be rational i sit down i i i read the arguments i read the numbers read some economic data and some facts and i figure out what's going on here so, when it comes to setting up a social safety net or raising the minimum wage, it doesn't come out of envy, it comes out of rationality. It is rational to say, if you work a full-time job, you should make enough money to survive. And actually, if we made the minimum wage reflect uh, what those workers are actually producing, okay, so what they're actually putting in, if they got out what they put in, they'd be getting over $20 an hour. So, it actually is 
these uh, capitalists and these entrepreneurs and these business owners who are stealing from the low-wage workers. He said that with a negative connotation as if it's patently false and absurd to suggest that maybe these uh, low-wage workers are getting screwed. But it's objectively true, they are getting screwed. Again, they're producing over $20, uh, you know, worth of goods, or they're putting in that much work that is giving the company that much wealth creation, but they're only getting paid $7.25, so the wages are artificially low. So, it's not vicious. He calls us vicious. Oh, it's that vicious emotion of envy that's, that's driving them. No, no, it's the exact opposite. You're the vicious one, because you're saying we are going to oppress you and keep you down and force you as you're producing over... Uh, over $20 worth per hour, we're going to go ahead and only pay you $7.25 and take up all your time and then still not give you enough money to survive. So it's the, he has it exactly backwards. When a liberal sits down and they say, well, when we're creating a society, here's what should be off the table. Infrastructure, you should get clean water, you know, you should have uh, the FDA to make sure your food doesn't give you salmonella or E. coli and poison you. We should have health care funded by tax dollars. We should have a minimum standard of living that, you know, allows you to have an equal opportunity. When liberals sit down and do that, it's not based off envy. It's based off reason. It's based off rationality. It's based off saying, look, we're in favor of a meritocracy, which means the harder you work, the further you go. But in order to have one, you need to make sure that kids in inner city Harlem get the same shot as Mitt Romney's son. And of course, Dinesh D'Souza does not want that. He doesn't want equal opportunity. See, that's the thing. What, uh, what conservatives say uh, when it comes down to it is, they say, look, when you're paying the government taxes, they're the government is like a mafia. You pay them the money and you say, just leave me alone. That's what the mafia does. They go into businesses and they'll say, hey, look, somebody might break your windows unless you pay us for protection. And then it's like, okay, here, take uh, 15, 20% of my money and just stay away, right? Well, that's what conservatives' view of the government is. It's here, take 15, 20% of money and just get away. What do liberals do? Liberals say, no, you son of a bitch. If you're getting 15 to 20% of my money, here's what's going to happen. You're going to give me health care with that money. That's what it's going to fund. You're going to give me schools. You're going to give me universal daycare. You're going to give me national defense. You're going to give me all these different things, which we would be paying for with the money that you're taking. So the conservative ideology, it, honestly, is just stupid. It's here, take the money and go away. But wait, why don't you want something for that money? You don't even want to fight for that? And again, they call us vicious, but... Isn't it vicious to tell somebody to work for less than they can survive on, which is what you are openly in favor of?